Bang! Leonardo da Vinci was a prolific inventor, but one of the challenges he faced was going for a pencil sketch to a working prototype. And that's why he never saw a helicopter in the 15th century. <laughs> Technology advancements of the 19th century allowed Edison and Bell to bring their ideas to life. On Edison's birthday, I'm here to tell you why I love my 3D printer. <laughs> 3D printers are a tool that many of today's inventors use. The first 3D printer was invented in 1984 by Charles Hull. Here's how a 3D printer works. You take a plastic filament, push it into a heated nozzle, melt it, Extrude it out onto a moving build platform, and this creates your object. Here's how you'd use a 3D printer. You start with a 3D model, which you design a CAD software, such as AutoCAD. You turn that model, you turn that model into decode, which are the instructions for your 3D printer. You then print it, and you have your object. I chose a heart to remind everyone that Valentine's Day is in three days. <laughs> But the problem with commercial 3D printers is that they cost too much. <laughs> with my allowance, it would take me 10 years to be able to afford the cheapest one. What's a young inventor like me to do? <laughs> Luckily, the open source community saved me with the RepRap, the Replicating Rapid Prototyper. But the problem with the RepRap is it's not very reliable. These three people want a more reliable 3D printer, so they created the MakerBot, a low-cost 3D printer that just works. For about $1,000, you can buy your own MakerBot kit. A few key elements of the MakerBot are the extruder head, where your plastic's melted and extruded out, and the build platform, where your object's created. Here's how you'd use a MakerBot. Let's say you drop and break your mother's keychain. Sorry, Mom! <laughs> you can trace it out, measure it, design a 3D model, print it, and you have a fixed key fob. Look, Mom, I fixed it! <laughs> and if you aren't good at designing stuff, you can go to Thingiverse, the universe of things! where anyone can download 3D models to print. In fact, my first thing was a thing from Thingiverse, a whistle. Now, why a whistle? Well, it's easy to print, and when you're done, you have something that annoys your parents. <laughs> the great thing about 3D printing is that you can print in many colors by swapping out your plastic filament, and in many sizes by scaling your 3D model up or down. But you aren't limited to whistles. You can print a Darth Vader head like you might find at a Star Wars convention. <laughs> or you can make your own bobblehead. But one of the amazing things on Thingiverse is the Gothic Cathedral, because it pushes the limits of the MakerBot with its detail and its intricacy. And for all you engineers out there who are wondering, what functional stuff can I make? Well, you can make a nut and a bolt, a ball bearing, and these nerdy glasses. <laughs> and when you become really good at 3D printing, you can download the 150 files from Thingiverse to print your own MakerBot on a MakerBot. <laughs> But you aren't limited to plastic. You can replace your extruder tool head with a frostruder tool head so you can print in frosting. Now you can print your cake and eat it too. I encourage you to learn more and check out the RepRabbit heatsink labs. I'd also like to thank the Ignite team for giving me this chance to tell everyone why I love my 3D printer. Thank you.